Welcome to the 100 Baby Challenge, part 65. And in this episode, we are going to give birth to twins. But first, we got to age up Ryan, Summer, and Trixie before we have the have the baby, okay? Babies, actually, because there's... That's the time we checked MC Command Center that um, she's having two boys. So, there's that. What else is... Cause I, write, I write everything down. Um... Oh, it says that Zev even passes on a date with Stan to stay at home with her kids. Well, yeah, Stan, you'll get your moment. Don't worry. She'll make it up to you. Zev will definitely make it up to you. I keep thinking about my ep- one of my episodes that is titled R.A.P. Priest. I mean, the dislike. I mean, can people get it's like it's not meant to be taken seriously? I can't help Sims die in this game, and it happens to be a character that is funny. I mean, one of the characters that I like is Reginald J. Priest. He's funny, but I. I'm not disrespecting that character in any kind of way. I mean, I'm weird, okay? I'm I'm definitely weird, but I'm not disrespectful. I'm sorry. We're put, we're put off that way if you're like Priest as a character. But, you know, I wasn't disrespecting that character or the actor in any kind of way. It's just a sim. It's not mis- it's, a, it's like a cartoon gameplay. It's not meant to be taken seriously, okay? Lighten up. People have funerals in their gameplays all the time. And not all the time, but when they do, nobody... I don't see a lot of people disliking that, so... And then they have a funeral form, but, you know, I kind of... It's kind of like, Zev was becoming friends with them. Right? She was just friends. To so invite him over to birthday parties and stuff. They met at the flea market. You know, they're they friends. And she's just making her tribute to him. And her way, okay? Even if it's a bit weird. Well, my way. Yeah, even if it's a bit weird. I'm sorry, I'm strange, okay? I'm kind of. I'm not all there. So. So sometimes, sometimes when I do some things that are right, it comes back to bite me in the butt no matter what. It's like no matter if I say or do anything right, it feels like I'm doing the right thing or saying the right thing. It ends up offending somebody no matter what. And it ends up bite me in the butt. I don't know why that is. That's just my luck, okay? And I'm trying... Even when I'm trying to be funny and up offending someone... I don't know what to do. I don't know how to please everybody. I can't please everybody. If you don't like my kind type of gameplay... You don't like my kind of sense of humor... You don't like how I do tribute to fictional characters... And I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I'm trying to get through a day. And I deal with people who don't like my... Who, who actually say it to my face they don't like my stuff. It feels like they're saying it to my face anyway. Like... When I used to build Lex houses in Sims Replay, I actually have somebody tell me that it was disgusting to have Le- a Lex house. My, my one of my Lex houses was disgusting on Sims Replay. That felt that was an it felt like I, I hate criticism like that to my face. <laughs> I don't know why I usually can take criticism, but since I don't play Sims Replay anymore, and I lost all my hard work doing all, all the Lex houses, I I can't fix it.
I do have all the pictures out of the house, Lex houses I've built, though. The only thing I like about that was uh, different types of themes I could come up with. But also, that's what I not like one of my videos. Well, I, I kind of expected that. I mean, I'm not meant to please everybody, okay? Just... Okay, sometimes when you have something bad to say, keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I I do want to ta take criticism. I do, and I want to learn from it. And a part of me is like, or get pissed. <laughs> we get upset and do something irrational. <laughs> like, delete the comment. <laughs> And be, be mature about it and, and delete the comment. <laughs> Act like it never happens. Uh, that's that's the worst I can do. My bark is worse than my bite. Um, I don't bite. I bark, but don't bite. Anyways, um, back to the gameplay. Yes, I'm sure a lot of people like me to get straight to the gameplay. I would like to as well. It's, not, it's hard to participate in Talk Like a Pirate Day when, you're sent, when your toddlers can barely talk in the first place. You know, I had this interesting dream that I might incorporate into my gameplay, but... I'm going to say this. It's hard to find a certain outfit I'm looking for in order to do this challenge. Um, or make this part of my challenge. Um. There's this movie that came out, uh, in 97. That can't, called Uncle Sam. It's like a, it's like a horror movie. But, anyways, I like it. I mean, I couldn't stop watching it back then. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't like scary movies. But this isn't, like, scary enough to give me nightmares. Um, I was dreaming about it last night all of a sudden. It included legs, okay? Like, Zev's interest in, um... Sam Harper. I mean, he's a bad guy. But. She's. Zeb. Zeb with an X. She was attracted. To Sam Harper. Wearing the Uncle Sam costume. And they used the protein regenerator on him. You know, he was dead. You know, heal them all up and stuff, and he's, you know. And he's kind of thankful for that, and, and he's won over by Zev. <laughs> Even though she was after him to see if he's killed anyone. To see if he was the guy everybody was talking about that was make, killing everybody in uh, in town. On Fourth of July, and she was at, she was on to him. When the when the somehow the cops found nothing, she was kind of into Sam Harper. <laughs> like Sam Harper knew how to cover his tracks. He's like, "Aren't you married or something?" It's like. He's like, I was. <laughs> He's like, faking my death made me kind of widowed now. <laughs> but he was actually dead, and he somehow brought back to life. Maybe he can use it to where I mean, Prince brought him back to life. Because Prince can do that. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I think about doing a crossover. <laughs>
but I really can't do that in this game because um I can't find uh Uncle Sam outfit in her Sims. So I wish they could. You know, I would I was I thought about it. Don't get me wrong, it's a start of challenge, dude. It's a start of the challenge. I thought about making an Uncle Sam character. You know it would be Sam Harper. But no, I couldn't, so even before this challenge, I think I was thinking I was I I forgot when I was gonna do that, like for a super sim challenge, just have him as a character just to get to know and just just to have him like in the gallery. But That's just I can't find Uncle Sam costume. That'd be pretty hard to pull off. Of course, I could probably find a military costume for him, since Sam Harper was in the military. But... An Uncle Sam costume, though? That would be pretty badass. I'm not lying. And Willie. If anyone remembers that character, just where Sam got his, where Sam Harper got his costume, his, um, was Uncle Sam costume from? That Willie on Stilts guy. I mean, is that somebody, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't really dead. I don't know. Maybe Sam didn't really kill him. <laughs> I, there were, I remember there were two Zebs. Zeb with the X and Zeb with the Z. Zeb with the Z was into Willie. No, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was just a messed up dream. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and all the legs crew were trying to figure out who's killing people on the Fourth of July, <laughs> and they're following this uncle, and they're following this shady guy in <laughs> Uncle Sam costume, following him around, <laughs> and chasing him back to uh to Jody's house and. Well, that's, I mean, that's dinner. I mean, that's lunch. I gotta go back and get some lunch. I don't want the burner out of the oven. Dang it, I was cooking some French bread pizza. You know, it said 375 for 24 minutes, okay? I put them in for 21 minutes and they're almost burned. That's my oven for you. I gotta let them cool down. Maybe they're still maybe they're still edible. I mean seriously, twenty four minutes. It's twenty four minutes in the oven for three seventy five, and that's what I did. Three seventy five, but I put it for like twenty minutes. And the timer went off, and all of a sudden they're burned. A little burn around the edges. Like, are you serious? I'm trying to eat. It's like. 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And I kind of miss Zoe because fir my first intention was to get up and make lunch for me and Zoe. And apparently, she was our, Frank already took her to his mom's house for the day and for the night because, I don't know, he was, he said she was giving him some kind of an attitude this morning and didn't want to deal with it the whole day. So, he took her over to his mom's house. I was like, I'm glad I missed the attitude part. But, I could have said, I couldn't say anything to Zoe before she left. Like, have fun at Grammys or something. I mean, but since I was planning on making lunch for me and Zoe, but since Zoe isn't here, 
Well, whenever my husband gets home from work, takes a lunch break or something, comes up, and me and him can split a French, have a, each, each of us can have a French bread pizza. And that French, well, it's a, you know, French, you all know French bread pizza. Oh, well, I like explaining it. <laughs> it's pepperoni. I guess something other than tomato soup and tomato soup. I got burnt French bread pepperoni pizza. Oh, wow. So all we're doing here is just taking care of these kids. Uh, that's all we're doing in this episode for like 35 minutes. That may cut it short, shorter than 35 minutes. It depends if she goes anywhere. Oh my gosh. I really just can't. Fandom just sitting here for 35 minutes watching Zeb clean the house. Um, maybe 25 minutes. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. 25, 30. Yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I can't remember because I re pre recorded this a while back. So it feels like a while back. And I, I can't remember everything, okay? So. So that's when I sometimes I act surprised. Sometimes I can remember some things, but not everything. In each episode, like that one time the maid was putting away the food when I was having a birthday party. I didn't know which episode that was, but it was happening in the next episode when I was mentioning that. You know, I could. I'm like, oh, I didn't know it was this episode. I can't. I don't remember. That's why I write down some stuff, but some things I didn't quite write down because I just breeze right through the clips. This is like, hmm, this is what happens. But I don't write down everything. So I might miss something. There's some things I could, yeah, like, so, there's some things I miss. That's just me. I, I forget sometimes. Let's just watch this have clean. Yes, clean. And this sounds like fun. Man, I was really hoping Zoe would help me record through this episode because 35 minutes. We recorded for 35 minutes. You're looking for some entertainment. And Zoe was that entertainment. Like in the last episode. Cassandra Goss is... Why are people trying to offer Zev a job? She's not allowed to work in this. This is this part of the challenge. She's not allowed to work. She has to turn down all these job offers because... Because in, in the Hunter Baby Challenge, the mother can't work. She has to figure out how to earn money at home. She can't go to work. She has to stay home and raise her kids. She can't do anything else. And she can. She can stay home and take care of her kids and figure out how to make money from home. That's it. Like, write books, do painting, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Gardening. I don't like gardening in this game, but that's one way to make money at home. Uh, music production. That's a new way to uh, make money from home. YouTubing. You can now be a YouTuber. <laughs> then, so, I'll make a YouTuber sim. But, I was going to. The first generation Zeb was going to be a YouTuber. But, all that money. Wait. This is the birthday party I was looking for. Oh my gosh. It happened to be in this episode. I remember recording Zeb... Having a Dandy's birthday party at her house. It's not like Zev could deny the birthday invitation. It was going to be at her house. I was looking for this. See, I didn't know when this episode was going to happen. I mean, I didn't know this party was going to happen. I couldn't remember which episode it was. I thought it was later. It happens to be part 65. Cool. 
I didn't know. I mean, all this pre-recorded stuff. I can't remember. See, I told you I couldn't remember where I put this, put these video clips. I know there was a birthday party Dandy had at her house, but I couldn't remember what episode that was. I have to change some things when I write down the. We'll called Dandy other. Party. That's why it's so silent. I'm writing things down. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Twisty! Twisty the Clown! He's definitely going to be useful in season in the next season, trust me. The third generation. I didn't, you didn't need to hire a chef. I could... Zeph could have did the cooking. She had no problem with that. See? It's not like Zeph could deny the invitation to Dandy's party. Because if Dandy was going to have it at her house, that would have been pointless to deny it. Because it was at her house. Good way to introduce Twisty the Clown into the game. I had to change Twisty's outfit because he had that uh, sad clown face. And I didn't like that sad clown face. It ruined the whole white outfit I was going for for Twisty. But... I want to see Twisty cut the Clown's uh, custom content face. That kind of on the uh, Sims resource. <laughs> I think Twisty the Clown! I'm doing some bit of crossover here with Twisty and Dandy. Yeah. Twisty is going to be friends. They're going to be friends because I'm going to use Twisty in, in uh, the third generation. While they're having a party, I'm going to see if lunch is cooled down. Cause the <laughs> 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 Oh, the French bread pizza is edible. I got the one that was burnt last. <laughs> and I saved my last can of Pepsi Max. Awesome. Gotta do some gameplay. Gotta take my medicine. My vitamin. I should have done that before I got my din dinner. I'd say dinner. Lunch. I hope it's not really costing me anything with my sim when this chef dude is using my kitchen. And using my ingredients. Hope he's, that's, that's not costing me anything. It better not be costing me anything. I'm going to use my ingredients. What's all this food? Nobody's going to eat it. <laughs> Dang, why do they make these vitamins so big? Like, you were to get stuck down your throat, and they taste bad. Ah. 
whatever. They get that, 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 does that, get that grain taste. I don't know what kind of taste that is. Y'all taste grain, these vitamins before. Y'all should know what I'm talking about. These vitamins, see, uh, be even aftertaste, huh? Um, I'm, uh, seriously, I'm not, uh, what, chef using my ingredients is not costing me. Because I swear, I'm not paying attention to the, I haven't paid attention to what I started out with, if I started out with any small, how much small I started out with and how much I, compared to how much I got now. He, he's got no more room. Sorry, he can't cook anymore. Hugo Villarreal. No, I can't have a job. Quit offering me jobs. Everybody quit. It's nice of y'all, and I'm flattered, but no. Zeb can't have a job. She could, she could find ways to earn money at home, but she can't have a job. My gosh. I can't believe Zev hired a clown for the kids. <laughs> the kids, they got a clown for their party. Okay, party's over. That's good. Frank, your French bread pizza sitting on the, the counter. What is it, baby? Your French bread pizza sitting on the oh, counter. Oh, shit. What's up with you, Frank? That's nice. Aren't you always dealing with people that are pains in the butt? Yeah, it is cold outside. Well, that's good. French bread pizza. Good. Damn. You gonna get your lunch, right? Oh, I do. Wait, you, you were taking Zoe over to Stewart's? I didn't. What's with the donut? Actually, no. If you're thinking of Kimberly, Kimberly's got too much to lose if she ever get talked back to my mom. Like, my mom's promised her a lot of stuff. She can take back some of those promises if Kimberly ever decided to give her ad to. Zoe knows what she's got to lose, but she don't care. Well, she acts like she don't care. I'm glad I missed all that action this morning, Frank. I'm glad I missed all that action this morning.
you know, I remember, I remember, the only thing, last thing I remember about her was her coming in looking for her phone. That's all I remember. That's the last time I remember seeing her. But she was looking for her phone. I'm... Hey Frank, I can explain the French bread, okay? Oh. The box said 375 for 24 minutes. I put it in there for 20 minutes and it came out looking like that. I swear. Frank, can you hear me? Frank? He's all waiting in the kitchen. He can't hear me. He can't hear me while he's trying to stuff his face. Alright. I can explain the pizza. The way it looks. It's a little burn or something. It said three chunks. Three seventy five for twenty four minutes. I put it in there for twenty minutes and it came out looking like that. Mm-hmm. Eleven bird. And I didn't and I didn't even preheat it. Yeah, I know that. That was going to go hot. I know I got to do this. I'm really not gonna miss anything. I'm gonna cut this short. Um, this is just another three minutes of two minutes of this. Anyway, this will be the end of this episode. So, um, stay tuned for part sixty-six and like subscribe if you ever want to see more content.